Hey Rodrigo, how you doing? I'm doing great, man, Nick, and thanks for the interview. So you come, you've come especially from all the way from Colombia to kind of show us your MIDI kits and the yeah. Creart, Dig, uh, Creart Tech custom DIY MIDI controllers. Yeah. So um, tell me about it. Let's. Well, let's... we come here from Colombia originally, and we're looking for opportunities in the European market. It's the first time being here in Machina, and first time being in Europe, like in, in the UK. And uh, it's been great. It's been really great. And um, we, like I said, manufacture MIDI controllers and the MIDI controllers kits, like you can build at home. And um, so we are really excited to be here, Nick. So you you supply all the parts, and uh, you did a workshop here as well, didn't you? Where yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah. We were working like, with the guys with the scene shed uh, to make a workshop. Like they were, we were, we've been hosting these workshops all over Latin America. We ah, we also did a workshop in France. Like uh, in April this year, yeah. But we have this experience of being like, uh, like being really needing to be there with the workshop. Yeah. And this is what we're trying to like to change in our corporate like uh, vision. And what so we you can do. send kits out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. we're gonna be like going into becoming a DIY kit company. Right. I you gotcha. know, like delivering to your home, and then you have the experience to solder it and to assemble it yourself. Well, you got my attention by uh, yeah. by very kind. If you just hold that, yeah, look at this. Like this that Rodrigo and uh, his his lovely partner got the got my attention with this amazing look. Every knob is PWM. There's a little yeah. graphic on it, and 30 years. That, that was so kind. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I had to come and see you today. <laughs> obviously, no, we're really excited to give you this gift because of your career and of your legendary like videos and stuff. Like we see there in Colombia. I don't know. I don't know if you know. But a lot of people in Latin America learn, like to use the gear and to review it, and it's also people like create content uh -huh. based on what you do. Oh, wow. So we've been reminding you for all these years, <laughs> and we are, where we had to give him like uh, to talk to us, me like giving you this, you know, nice. this is a special making Fado. Uh, oh yeah, uh, which okay. has eight faders in it, like CC CC control. Are, they, are these assignable controllers? Yeah, assignable controllers, all open source. So we like we have programmed it to be CC controls, you know the MIDI, yeah. and then we of course we have to do like the whole yeah, yeah. celebration of Sonic State and the 30 That's years. That's very good. And well, and we have we are indeed 30 we, years old. Yeah. yeah, we have you here on a toga. A toga, yeah. Being a, being a Greek god. Looking like I'm kind of serious. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I have. So flip it over a sec because <laughs> yeah, just yeah, have yeah. a look. So yeah, you can see that this is like all the open source. Yeah. We have like this MIDI controller. Uh, yeah, yeah, microcontroller. Sorry. Uh, to have this control, and then we, the experience of being able to, to build it yourself is like being able to like to assign all the controllers and use it to your workflow. So, is there a is there like a uh, an interface to assign the controllers how you want? Or um, do you yeah, well, well, we have like this um, videos and uh, online classes right. to help you build them. So we have like six models, six different models. That you're gonna be having like a personal conversation with okay, us. Okay, so these are all the yeah. different words. No, but all but when you've built it, yeah. So can I reassign the control numbers for these? Oh and yeah, say yeah, yeah. Which we have a web-based right, uh, web-based yeah, UI. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Like web-based programmable, assignable MIDI controls. Yeah. Uh, but also you can go into the code, especially we have like the ability to go to go into the code and get into the open source and program it like how you, do you whatever want you it, like. Yeah. So but you've got a whole bunch of different yeah. things here. Yeah, we and have what, six what, different yeah. models. Yeah. And now we have like this uh, configurator that's like, based on, on web. You can just uh, like select the different colors that are going to be coming with the case, and also select the different buttons, like the colors of the buttons. Let me just show you, like the colors of the buttons, like the different patterns that you can assign. And then you just and make. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so you then you just make like them. A, yeah. Right. Like that. And you will send the parts out. As yeah, a, we will send the parts, and we will send this. It's beautiful looking cases. You know, we all make this the, in Colombia, made out of, of aluminum. Uh -huh. So they will arrive like this. And if you make it like on a special order with us, it's not going to be too pricey, but you can make like different. Oh, you like, can have like, like decals like, and the, designs. Like the ink. And Maybe we can just go into three, uh, up to four inks, you know, like all full color. Oh, like nice. That. Yeah. Because these would be great for kind of live setups as well, yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. can you modify the? Do they all have? Um, are they multicolor LEDs or can you, yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. specify? Yeah, they, they have different ones, and, and we can also like do like a permanent color LEDs also. Okay. Like this one. Yeah. 
Wow, okay, so you can configure these to, to do whatever you like, so that could be momentary or yeah. latching or... Or latching or stuff like that, yeah. Across modes, Things right, like brilliant. So where, um, where, where uh, are you selling these kits now? Are they, are they available to buy no, yet? We're, we're developing this website uh, like to make it, be able to like, sell it to you directly. But we are working, like, like I was saying, we are working with Elevator Sound in order yeah. to, make, to make them available also in the stores. In source, like in person. Right, so they can, you can buy yeah. stock from there. And you right. can just go to the shop and buy a MIDI controller kit. You can build at home. It's going to be configured in a way that it's not going to be like to your liking, like, uh, well, we, yeah, we hope to your liking. But, but you can tweak it. But yeah. it's like, yeah, it's like in a standard way. Yeah, I way understand. It. But if you want, we can just um, talk to us directly and also like configure it yourself. So oh. where, how, where's the best place for people to get in touch with you if they want oh, to find Oh, we can go into the, our website, which is called creartech.com. Creartech, yeah, like, so that's like this, spelled like cre this. Creartech.com. Okay. Or you can go into our Instagram account. Well, we have like this. I'll put that up there, there, then maybe yeah. you could scan that if you need to. Okay. You can just scan it and work with us there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, excellent. So uh, how long are you sort of touring, oh. touring Europe yeah, for a little while? Yeah, touring the UK for a couple of weeks. Just to enjoy the views, you know, they're making some tourism. But also we're going to be in London looking again for distributors and for business opportunities. Uh -huh. and, and we're going to be back here in Bristol talking to the guys, like I said, with a little bit of sound. And nice. We've been really grateful with, with them, you know. So these are the, the, the different models, the basic the basic yeah. case This is case like shape. the basic cases. So we've got yeah. buttons and faders. we got the mixo, which is this, like four naps, for faders and four buttons. Yeah. Also they light up. And we have the fader that is the one that we gave you. Yeah. It has HCC controls faders. Yeah. And we have this beetle, which is called BD16. It has 16 uh, pads, buttons, four knobs, four uh, micro switches, you know, like uh, kits. Keys. Yeah. And then you go with the fader. Like and these look like they're, they're kind of arcade game buttons, aren't they? They look like that sort of. Yeah, yeah, they look like arcade buttons, yeah. Do you have any idea of what these kind of are likely to cost as kits yet, or is it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, we have something in the range of 100 pounds. Okay. 100 pounds, and then you can go up like this one. This is the more expensive one. Can go up to 230. Right. Okay. Stuff like that. Yeah. But then you can assign them. So you can you can program them how you want, and yeah, you can program. You can build it yourself, and it's gonna come uh, like in a bag. Yeah. Uh, like an accessible bag, and then it's gonna be accompanied with accompanied with videos and video tutorials for you to like, solder them. But it's not going to be too hard to make, right? It's yeah, pretty no, it's not going to be too hard. Like, you can do it in an afternoon, a relaxed way. And I, what, what I want to also say is like electronics should be relaxing. You know, mm -hmm. it should be relaxing building the kits. Right. <laughs> if you get mad at us, like it's going to be too complex, you can just take a break, take a sip of tea and just continue to. <laughs> Excellent. To, yeah, to solder. Nice one. Thank you, Rodrigo. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the gift. Yeah. It was very kind. Yeah, yeah, thanks.